In the beginning God said that there be light, and the light was a sign of his love and presence in the world. Now his idea was to give people a perfect world and a wonderful way of life, and he became very sad when people messed up his lovely world and turned away from him. But nearly 4,000 years ago God thought of a way of putting things right, and chose a man called Abraham. He told Abraham that all of his children and grandchildren would live in a beautiful country where there was plenty of food. Abraham was very happy and things were good in all the world. Abraham had a son called Isaac. Isaac had a son called Jacob and Jacob had 12 sons, one of whom was called Joseph. Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery. Eventually, all the descendants of Abraham became slaves, and they stayed as slaves for more than 400 years. All the people were sad, and they turned away from the light. One of these slaves was Moses, and God chose Moses to bring the people into the light, by setting them free. Moses was very frightened, but he did as God asked. The people knew that God wanted them to be free, and they hoped and believed that Moses would succeed. Moses did succeed, and he led God's, God's chosen people to freedom. But they had no land of their own. God had promised them that they would have a land of their own, but the people were not ready for their own land. And all those who had been slaves could and could remember about slavery, they had to grow old and die, even though the people were no longer slaves, their lives were still in the dark. They were in the darkness, and stayed in darkness in the wilderness for forty years, and then Moses died. After forty years the people were given their own land, and there was plenty of food and plenty of water, and all was sweetness and light, but then the people started to grumble, and they did bad things, and God decided that there should be judges to rule them. Whenever there was a judge the people obeyed the law, and life was wonderful, but when the judge died they turned away from the law. They turned away from the light and they stayed in the darkness until there was another judge. There was a woman called Hannah and for years she'd wanted to have a child so when she gave birth to Samuel she was very happy. She was so happy that she asked Eli the priest if he would let Samuel help him in God's temple. It was her way of saying thank you to God for giving her a son. Samuel grew up to be a great judge, the last great judge of Israel. And when he was old, the people did not want to be ruled by his sons. They wanted a king. Now, God was not pleased about this because he was the king. And he told Samuel to warn the people that a king would take their sons to fight for them. A king would take their sons to work for him. And the king would take one-tenth of everything that they had. But the people still wanted a king. So God gave them one. Their first king was Saul. He was a very tall and important looking man, and a very good fighter. He led his armies to great victories and ruled his people for 22 years. But he ceased to worship God, so God took the kingdom away from him and gave it to David. Now, David had a son called Solomon. Solomon built a wonderful temple for God. It was the most magnificent and the biggest building that anyone had ever seen. When Solomon died, the kingdom split into two and there were wars. The people saw no light and they had to live out of their country for nearly 300 years and they were not allowed to return. When they were away, God sent them a prophet and his name was Isaiah. And he told them that eventually God would turn all darkness to light and make all crooked things straight. In other words, he was a prophet of hope. The children of Israel knew then that eventually one day everything would be wonderful. The chosen people of God went back to their own land and they were very, very happy. But they had not been back in their country long when the Romans invaded and they were conquered. Once more they needed help. They needed someone to teach them what to do, to avoid turning away to the darkness.
there was a woman called Elizabeth, who, like Hannah, wanted to have a baby, but she was almost too old to have children. However, God said that she would have a son, and that his name would be called John. John's life was dedicated to God, and he was the last of the prophets. He was the last of God's messengers, who were to give the people hope. And his message was, prepare the way of the Lord. And they had a special name for the Lord. And can you remember that name?